Hey guys, what is up? It's me, Kajira107, and I'm here to uh, show you guys how to solve the 2x3x3. Uh, by three by three. Now, this is, uh, it looks like an easy type puzzle, but really, it's kind of challenging. Like, from a challenge level, it'd probably, like, be, well, from 1 to 5, 1 being the least, it'd probably be a 2. It's not that hard, but uh, there is a really long algorithm that uh, is really easy to memorize, though, because it pretty much uses the same moves over and over and over again. So, um, the way this moves is you move the top face like this, easy, and then you can move the side face only like this. And uh, in the video, when I say R, R I, L, or L I, uh, let's just use an example for R, and it looks like it would be 180 degrees, but R would really be like that. Because you can't turn it like more than once, it has to be uh, like a full quote quote 180 degree turn. That's just, like you can't turn it like this and then move it. It's not a shape shifting cube. It doesn't work like that. So uh, let's just get that out of the way. And I think that is about it. So uh, let's get to scrambling this. Okay, so now that it is scrambled, um, as you can see here, we have we have the edges just like normal, and then we have corners, and that's about it. So uh, this is really like the trickiest part is um, actually getting the uh, centers because I always have trouble knowing which one is which. So um, I think it goes. You know I want to get my dot in. So let's look on the die end. Uh, as you see here, we're going to start with blue since that's the only one facing up. And we're going to get our edges in the white cross, just like on a Rubik's Cube. So, um, we're going to look on the Rubik's Cube. As you can see, if blue is facing here and here, you want to look onto this side. This side's red, so it means this side has to be red. So, you find the red one, turn it up, just like this. And then, after red, we have green, and then you can probably figure out the last one. And then we have our white cross. So that's how I, and then that's pretty much all you need for this. But that's how I um, figure out where each edge is. And But I'm starting to actually like know it. So then after you're done getting your white cross, you want to turn it face down so that that's on the bottom. And then what you want to do is you want to orient all your corners in place so you have a whole white side solved, just like on the 3x3. Three three. And you want to have the whole first layer solved. So yeah, you want what you want to do is find... A corner, so I'm gonna use this one. It's red and blue and white. So then we want to find the red and the uh, red and blue edge. Here it is, red, blue. And then to orient the corner in correct position, you want to do this um, algorithm. It's very short, and I'm pretty sure that we've already done it before. So the algorithm is R U R I U I R, and there you go. It's in the right spot, oriented correctly. So then you find another one. We'll use the uh, orange and green. Oops. Orange, green, the same thing. It's in the position. Now you just do that for the rest of your corners. Okay, there you go. Now you have this all. But um, let's just pretend if you have it in the state where all your corners are down here already and they're not in the right spot. All you have to do is do the R U R I U I R algorithm, and then they'll bring one up, and then it should be uh, the one that doesn't go where it was, and then you have to turn it where it should go, and then do the algorithm again, and they'll bring up another one, and then you can go from there. It's really a simple process. All right. Now the next set of moves that we have to do is orienting these yellow corners correctly. Now, uh, a lot of these are with trial and error, kind of uh, like. You may have it where you have it like this, and then this is oriented correctly, like this this corner piece right here is right here, so it's oriented, and then this corner piece is right over here, and so then you have to um, make it go all the way over here by doing this algorithm that I'm about to show you twice in a row. It's okay if you mess one up. You can go back to it and fix it. So we're going to be smart about this one, and we're going to move this corner over here. So what you want to do is hold it so that the corners are facing across from each other, and then you want to do this algorithm. It's kind of long, but bear with me. R, U, R, U, I, 
R F U I F U F U I. And there you go, you have it in the correct spot. And now you need these last two algorithms, I mean these last two corners to do. Um, and maybe done orienting all the corners. So the, uh, the algorithm again is R U R U I R F U I F U F U I. All right, and then you can see is all the corners are in the right spot. Now this will always happen where uh, you have it that two are solved and then two of them are like pieces are right across from each other. You just probably got the luckiest thing ever. So. Um, I'll show you both uh, possible, well, all the possibilities that you could have for um, doing this. Now, uh, I think there's actually only two. Maybe, yeah, there's only two states that could happen. So, uh, the first state is this, where two sides are solved. Or it could be all of them are open, but the edge that the, like this edge needs to go over here and this edge needs to go over here. So by switching these two, then you make these sides solved too. It could happen for all four. And then you'll have to only do this algorithm twice. But the algorithm to switch the two edges across is this. R, U2, R, U2, R, U2. And as you can see, uh, your 2 by 3 is solved. But if you had to do it again, then you have to do it again. And the other state that you could have... I'm going to get it into it. Is this state. Where it's kind of like in a backwards L kind of. And you have like. These two sides are solved over here. And then you have one side not solved. Let's really rephrase that. You have two sides solved on one side. And then you have this edge facing you. Like on any side. It doesn't really matter. And you have another edge on the uh, right side. So facing you and on the right. Now this algorithm is also, I think is the longest this uh, cube, but it's super easy. It's, it's the easiest algorithm, even though it's the longest. So um, the algorithm is to switch two edges um, diagonally, like diagonal from each other, is this. R, U, R, U, R, U, 2, R, U, 2, R, U, R, U I R. And as you can see, your 2x3 is solved. Those are all your states that you can have for the 2x3. It's a very simple puzzle if you um like if you uh realize all the algorithms, even though they're super long, it's actually a very easy puzzle to solve. Um that's pretty much it for the 2x3. This is a uh what is it? This is a moji, I think it is. Whoops, hit the camera there. I think. Maybe my camera focus. See, I don't know if anybody knows that brand, but it says Mose She on it right there. So, that's the brand of my uh, 2x3. And then my other 2x3 that I got, my very first one that I got with that unboxing video for Cube Depot. This is the state that it's in now. It's in pieces. I mean, it just fell apart when I started using it. So, that's my Q this is my QJ 2x3. So uh, I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial on how to solve the 2x3. Uh, that's about it. And the next video will most likely be uh, either the how to solve a Mega Minx tutorial or something, or probably a 3x3 three three solve video or something like that. But that's about it. And I am Connor, and I'll see you guys later.